This is the mayor's report for the city of Battle Creek, Michigan. This is the mayor of Battle Creek, Mark Banky. Good morning, Battle Creek. Kellogg Company Mythbusters. We can continue with a couple more Mythbusters provided by the Kellogg Company. The Kellogg Company has released some Mythbuster information so that we can make sure the community is hearing factual information about their current company activities. I will share these over the next couple of weeks. The new myth buster today is, or the new myth is the company store is closing once the spin occurs. The facts are the company store in Battle Creek is one of the beloved perks of the employees and retirees and the Kellogg intends to continue to offer it post spin. Specific plans are under development. The next myth, Kellogg company doesn't hire Battle Creek talent and is responsible for the community's young adults moving out of the town post-graduation. The fact is, Kellogg is deeply committed to do all they can do to attract and retain the best talent. For example, Kellogg created a scholarship and inter internship program for Battle Creek Public School students interested in a career in finance, building a pool of Kellogg, a future Kellogg talent here in our Battle Creek community. Kellogg will continue to employ Battle Creek residents. They have already placed top talent in the future companies, including leaders from Battle Creek on the North American Serial Leadership Team. Wanted to talk real quick, like um, this past week, Monday and Tuesday, the Department of Public Works, along with the city manager's office, implemented a cleaning program on I-94, I-194, that's the penetrator, into downtown Battle Creek. And if you haven't noticed the difference, please look at the uh, way in which they clean the northbound and the southbound lanes, the shoulders of both of those uh, roads coming into Battle Creek and going out. I wanna thank the city manager's office first and also the Department of Public Works for the work that they did. They contracted through the state of Michigan, actually the state of Michigan asked us to do it. And so we were paid to do this work because it is a responsibility of the Michigan Department of Transportation. Hats off uh, to the workers that uh, spent two days cleaning up the debris on the side of the road. A lot of that debris was uh, dirt and it was, there was a lot of uh, accumulation. So I really appreciate that. It makes our entryway into downtown Battle Creek more beautiful. Uh, this is just the start. We plan on doing some plans in the near future. It may take us about a year, but we plan on developing that property along the northbound and the southbound lanes into downtown Battle Creek on Penetrator I-94. So thank you very much. Also like to just mention the fact that uh, rank David J. Redwinski, 59 years old, um, he was a uh, feature host on WBCK 95.3 for a number of years, passed away recently at the age of 59. I wanna extend our sympathies to his family, uh, to his supporters, and to people who listened to him for over 16 years. On behalf of the citizens of the city of Battle Creek, we extend our sympathies to David Rank uh, and his family and his wife, Pam. Um, sorry to see you go. Um, may the angels welcome you into heaven. Um, burning in the city with the nice weather on the way, Fire Marshal Quincy Jones from the Battle Creek Fire Department has tips and information for everyone about burning in the city. You can find a video on the City of Battle Creek's YouTube channel, look for the video, learn what you can do and what you can't burn in Battle Creek. Here are some of the highlights. You cannot burn leaves in the City of Battle Creek. You are allowed to burn other yard waste like tree limbs, brush, as long as the diameter of those items is under two inches. You cannot burn heavy logs. Keep your burn pit at least 50 feet from your home, other structures, fences, and other things they could also burn. Your burn pit cannot be more than eight feet in diameter and the height of the burn can't be higher than three feet. You must have a burn permit to burn. You can purchase one for $25 for the, from the city clerk's office at city hall. You must do this in person. The burn permit is good for a calendar year through December 31st. Even if you have a burn pit permit, Please know that the Battle Creek Fire Department can still require you to put out the fire if you haven't, if you have received complaints about it. When you cook outside, you do not need a burn permit. 
If you burn or cook outside, make sure someone is always watching the fire and make sure you have a water source close by. You cannot burn plastic, garbage, or anything else that is yard waste material. If you violate the burning ordinance, you could face fines up to $200. If you need to make a complaint about burning, call 911 or you can call 269-966-3519. Please enjoy the pleasant spring and summer safely here in Battle Creek. Annual fire hydrant flushing. The city will do our annual fire hydrant flushing starting at 10 p.m. Sunday, April 30th. The flushing will take place only overnight from 10 p.m. to 6 a.m. It generally takes the water staff about two weeks to complete flushing across the entire city, pending un any unforeseen situations. We publish maps each day showing where the team has flushed hydrants in the city and where they plan to flush the next night so neighbors can follow along. Um, See the maps and more information at battlecreekmi.gov. Scroll to the city spotlights and find the hydrant flushing item or team. Flushing hydrants and water mains gives the city several benefits. It lets crews verify the water system is working properly and that we are providing the highest quality of water. They can also identify the areas that need repairs or maintenance and make sure the fire hydrants are ready for use if the fire department needs them. You may see brief water pressure changes when we flush in your area or neighborhood. We do not shut off water completely and you do not need to boil water. You might see cloudy or discolored water and we recommend running your cold water until it clears in this case. If you have questions or if you lose water pressure completely, you can call the water staff at 269-966-3506 and hit option two. Once again, that phone number is 269-966-3506. Hit option number two. After 4 p.m. on the weekend, you can reach the World Water Cruise at 269-966-3493. City to rebuild temporary road while starting Mason Avenue culvert repairs. The City of Battle Creek is working with Bedford Township and the Cowan County Road Department as we start to work to repair a fallen culvert on Mason Avenue in Urbandale. The culvert is under Mace, North Mason Avenue between, between Presidential Drive and Morgan Avenue West at Wabaskin Creek. A culvert is a tunnel that carries a stream under a road or a railroad. The City of Battle Creek's crews completed surveying work on Tuesday, April, t April 18th as a first step toward culvert repairs. The culvert work will not be completed until 2024. Crews will install a temporary gravel road that connects the two sections of Simmons Avenue as an alternate way to travel in and out of this neighborhood in case the culvert fails during the repair process. This temporary road should be in place by early May. It will have lock gates at both ends which con with concrete, concrete barricades in the middle since the temporary road will be connection between the city of Battle Creek and Bedford Township. Both the city and the Calhoun County Road Department will have access if needed. City Commission Workshop, Monday the 24th, starting at 6 p.m. The topic of discussion will be the City's Review Board. Our next City Commission meeting will be Tuesday, May 2nd. The regular meeting starts at 7 p.m. You can join us for these meetings in person at City Hall, 10 North Division Street in downtown Battle Creek. The Commission Chambers are on the third floor. There are also two opportunities to give public comment during the regular meeting about the items on our agenda and any comments you may have about city business. You can come to the meeting or you can watch it on Access Vision, broadcast the meeting live on channels 17 and 917, on Comcast, on channels 100, on at and and they also stream the live 17 tab on their website, accessvision.tv. You can also watch the meeting's live stream on the City of Battle Creek's YouTube channel you can watch previous meetings there too. Our meeting agendas are usually posted the Thursday before the meeting on the city's website at battlecreekmi.gov. Go to your government tab, then the mayor and commission. And if you like to get a paper copy of the agenda, you can visit the city's clerk's office from 8 a.m. to 5 p.m. Monday through Friday. This is the mayor of Battle Creek, Mark Banky. Thank you very much for listening. Have a great weekend and I appreciate you listening. Thanks.